you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. And today, I'm going to be ranking all 32 themed diamonds going through the auction block as per usual, guys. Remember, these rankings aren't exactly exact because these are my opinions, and there's so many 89s and 88s. Like, it's kind of hard to really pinpoint who's better than others. I'm basing this mostly on position value, specifically with how the game's playing right now. So you're going to see a lot more of a certain positions or certain position types ahead of others. And that's specifically for how I feel about certain things. I have it over on Mudhead on this left screen, so I'm going to be showing you guys on the screen as we do it. And guys, obviously if you're new to the channel, go down below, smash the sub button. 10k subscriber special coming to you guys first week of September if we can hit it. I know you guys can do it, so smash the sub button. Turn on the notify bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Comment down below what you guys think of the Team Diamond promo. Also, comment down below who's your favorite one. I think I have mine picked, and you're going to see it in this video. It's it's subject to change depending on what happens. But guys, this is a ranking video, so I'd appreciate it if we can get 250 likes on this video. That'd be awesome. So please, guys, smash the like button. Don't forget to comment down below what you guys feel about this promo. Now, guys, let's get into this video. So let me take over. Let's go over to Mudhead right here. Okay, so quality, 84 to 85. Okay, theme diamond. So first things first. We're going to be looking at the theme diamonds here, 85. Patrick Certain is going to be my rank 32 guy. If I lose count, guys, I'm sorry. It happens all the time. Rank 32 guy, Patrick Certain. If you look at his stats, of course he's going to be bought out. If you look at his stats, they're decent. 85 speed is good for a cornerback, but then he has low zone, low man, low press. He's kind of like, and he's, he's tiny, so he's kind of like an unusable corner in my eyes. He's going to be overpriced. Now for the next one, I'm going to have to kick it up because that was the only 85. We got the 86s, so I'm going to go with Dave Casper at 31. Dave Casper is so slow. He can't run block. He can't route run. He can he can like catch. He's like a standstill catching tight end, which I'm not really a fan of. Going on to rank 30, I'm going to speed these guys up in the beginning because not really that useful in my opinion. Rank 30 is going to be Andre Reid. Awesome legend typically, but he can't route run here really that well. He's more of a slot guy maybe, like a short rounding slot, a slot guy, but I know he's going to be overpriced for that. He's kind of tall, but he can't really route run. He's decently fast. Not really my type of card. Next in the list, we got the cornerback on the Giants, Jason Seahorn. He's only ranked above certain because he's slightly faster than Curtin or certain whatever his name was, and he has slightly better press. But again, low zone, low man. He's decently fast, so he could be a slot kind of nickel corner if you want to blitz him in, but that's about it for him. There's not much more to talk about with those guys. Next one we got, where is this guy? Lofa Tatupu, however you say his name. He's okay. If you compare him to Wagner, he has similar stats to Wagner, which is the only reason that he's not horrible. Good play, he's good play rec, decent block shed. His hit power is just too low. If his hit power was higher, I'd rank him a lot higher. His zone's decent, his strength's decent, but he's, he's slow. If his if his, his hit power was higher, he'd be Wagner-esque, but he's not. So he's kind of like just like a slow prototype kind of linebacker. Not really, I'm not really a fan of this. Sorry if I keep switching back and forth. So next we got the wide receiver on the where is he? The Buccaneers. Joe Jerivisius, I think. 84 speed. He's got decent stats, actually. 84 speed, 86 jumping. He's 6 foot 5, 82 catching, 85 catching traffic, 85 spec, 84 route running, 86 medium route, medium route running. I really like him, but wide receivers aren't that important to me this year with Torrey Holt, Tyreek, D Hop, so on and so forth. Jerry Rice. There's so many wide receivers. You got a free Torrey Holt. So I kind of I low I kind of rate wide receivers on the lower end for that reason. Next on the list, we got Corey Dillon. He looks like a tank, which he is, but he's kind of slow. He's slow, but he's good carrying. He's kind of a tank. He's more like a... I'd like him as like a power back, like a fullback dive kind of guy. He's not exactly a go-to running back right now in this game. I'd rather have a Philip Lindsay. So for that reason, I can't really rank him that high because if I had to pick a running back, he's not really where I'd go with that for the most part. Now, going to the next guy on the list. Let's see. Of course, it's going to freeze up right now. Oh, God. Okay, so next on the list, we got Keith Bullock. Keith Bullock doesn't look too bad, to be honest with you guys. He has an 81 speed, 82 excel, 69 strength, 84 tackle, 85 play rec, 80 shedding. His shedding's okay. He can't really power for an move, so I don't know how much the shedding's more like. He's more like a run stuffer, decent outside linebacker, decent speed, good height, decent user, but nothing nothing too exciting for me in my opinion. Next, who I actually really kind of like, I'm about to pick up at defensive tackle, is Darnell Dockett. He's not that fast, but he's a defensive tackle. If we compare him real quick to uh, a Michael Pierce, he's actually pretty good. Good power move, which I need. Decent block shedding, good play rec, and good tackling. Bit on the slower side, but not compared to other defensive tackles. So it's really not that bad a defensive tackle. Next, we got Peanut Tillman. Just gotta find him first. Oh, he's gonna be in the next. He's actually in the next bracket. So Peanut Tillman, Charles Tillman. Let's go find him real quick. Oh, I probably missed him. Right here, Charles Tillman. 
I actually really like Charles Tillman, but his zone is his, is, is his importance that here. His zone, his press, and his man. He's 85 feet, so he's pretty fast. He can decently cover. I wish his man was a little bit higher in his press, but other than that, he's a pretty solid corner. I've lost track a while ago, guys. I lost track a while ago, but number one, but you guys get the point. We're going in order. You guys know the rankings. Next, we got, and here goes the mud head lag again. The White Freeney. So the White Freeney is going to be. He's always like a mutt favorite. He's always around, always there. He's always been on the slower side, but I like him because his finesse moves really high. So if we put him on the, if you put him at, he's right end. So I mean, 79 speed isn't slow for him. I right end. If his block shot was slightly higher, he'd be ranked higher. But he can get off the edge pretty consistently, make tackles, get sacks, good play rec. So he's pretty good in the run game, pretty good in the pass rushing game. So for that reason, he's a little bit higher than otherwise. If he had been, if his finesse move was lower, wouldn't have been as high. Next on the list, I wasn't a fan of him at first, but after looking into his stats a little bit more, Merton Hanks. So he is like the fastest free safety in the game right now. One of the fastest, which is why I like him. 84 speed for free safety right now is faster than Earl Thomas. He also has good zone, good play rec, good excel. He's kind of like Earl Thomas. He's like an identical Earl Thomas. So for that reason, he's actually better than Earl Thomas. So for that reason, I'm just a bit higher. And he's tall. He's six foot two. So really not a bad card at all. Next on the list, let's see what we got here. We got Wayne Trebit. I forgot not to say his name. Don't kill me. Let's see, where is he? Of course, I'm not gonna be able to find him right now. Wayne Krebit. Have to look him up. Go to the Jets. So here we got him. He's a wide receiver. He's kind of like an Eric Decker type build. Decently fast. He has pretty. He actually has really good stats for wide receiver. But again, wide receivers aren't that important to me. Stats are kind of. They're, they're good. Route running is good. He can catch in traffic. He's 85 speed. He's kind of like a slot, a slot receiver. But wide receivers aren't that important to me this year. In terms of, there's so many good ones that I don't really have to worry about. The newer ones to me. Next one we on the list, we got Clinton Portis. Clinton Portis is a okay running back. He has 86 speed, which is cool. He's a Philip Lindsay type build. I actually like him better than Philip Lindsay now because he's just as fast. He's got agility and he can actually break tackles. So he's actually kind of more powerful than Lindsay. The only difference is he doesn't have abilities. So that's the only thing that kind of evens him out with Lindsay. Next on the list, we got Antoine, Antoine Randall L. Looking at him, he's actually got pretty good stats. I like him better because he has all, he's good at all types of route running because before the other guys only had like one or two. He actually can run all the routes, 86, 5, 10. He's a good slot, slot receiver again. Not really too, not really too happy about that card, but he's definitely there. Next list, I actually really like this card. Where is he? Corey Schlesinger or whatever. This guy is an insane fullback. I'm picking him up. Once I have enough coins, which I should, I should say, once he's valuable enough to pick up, he's not this overpriced. He's got 75 speed, 83 strength, 88 awareness, 80 carry, 69 catch, 86 run blocking, 88 lead blocking, and 88 impact blocking. This card is crazy good. He is a great fullback. And if, if, he, if he could get armbar, which I doubt he can, but if he could, this would have been an awesome fullback to pick up for anyone's team. I would definitely like to run him. Next on the list, going to be the kicker. If I could find him, I have to look him up by team. Broncos, Jason Elam. I really like him, but he's a kicker, so you know, I can't rank him too high. But 88 kick power, 86 kick accuracy. I mean, I do have Graham Gano, which is not as good, but again, Graham Gano is a great budget option. I mean, I can't really spend too much time on a kicker, right? Next on the list, let's see what we got. We got a fan favorite, always around in Madden, always kind of cool to use just because of his helmet, Otto Graham, but his stats aren't that good. His stats are okay for passing, right? His play action is not too good. His throw on the runs, everything's kind of decent here. I think he's really good, but like compared to other quarterbacks, like if we compare him to Mahomes or whatever, like he's not really, doesn't really stack up so well, so... For that reason, Autogram is going to probably be one of the last 89s I ranked after the kicker. But he's really not bad at all. Next on the list, we got Sean Phillips. Sean Phillips was tough to rank. Okay, guys, the whole 89 overalls were tough to rank because Sean Phillips has good stats. He's good block shed, good finesse, good play rec, good, 80, uh, good tackle, decent speed. If he was a little fast, probably a lot higher. But he's not a bad card at all. Six foot three. If you compare him to like a Khalil Mack, Von Miller type, that's the only reason. You get Von Miller for free. Oh, for playing you get Khalil Mack you can get Khalil Mack so for that reason John Phillips isn't that high because he won't be the best remember these rankings are based on what cards are in the game right now what we can get what cards are important so that kind of affects everything next we got Donald Driver I like Donald Driver in real life which I'm probably a little biased for putting him up this high but he does got 87 speed which is really fast really good route running really good catching really good jumping he's kind of tall overall pretty solid receiver but not really a fan of picking up any receivers for the most for the meat in the meantime I should say Next on the list, who do we got? What head is lagging bad right now? I wonder who I put next, because this whole thing is lagging pretty bad. So we got Joe Runyon, Runyon, however you say his name. Right tackle for the Eagles. So I'm gonna have a lot of I'm gonna have a lot of linemen up high because linemen are really important this year, especially with how much I run the ball and how much um, pass rushing is a thing. 
he blows away Lane Johnson. So he's, he's probably the best right tackle in the game right now besides Dan Diodorf, but he is a limited time. So it's a little different to rank. He's got crazy good run blocking, crazy good pass blocking, blows away Lane Johnson. That's what the speed is. Speed's a 60, not horrible. So overall, he's a great, great right tackle. All right, next we got Deuce McAllister. Deuce McAllister is a little bit on the slower side, but I really like his break tackle and truck. He's a power back. I wonder what a stiff arm is. If he could get arm bar, that'd be pretty cool. I don't really know what the specifications are for arm bar, 86 stiff arm. So if he can get that, awesome, awesome card. Maybe put him at fullback. Run Deuce with Marcus Allen at fullback and Mark Marcus Allen at running back, Deuce at fullback. Really would like that. Great power back. Next on the list, let's see what we got. We got Jesse Tuggle. Jesse Tuggle was tough to rate because he is actually really good, but at first I was off of him and now kind of looking at his stats again. Put him a little up higher. Compare him to Bobby Wagner, which is somewhere in his like range. He's faster, almost as tall, better excel, better strength, equal tackling, almost equal play rec, way better block shed. So you can blitz him off the edge, not off the edge. You can blitz him off the middle, probably get off his, um, off a blocker. His zone's a bit on the lower side, but Jesse Tuggle's not bad at all, in my opinion. Now let's go back to regular teams, all teams. Next, we actually got David Carr, so I can do this by Texans. So David Carr. He was tough to rank because I'm not really a fan of David Carr, but his stats are actually pretty good if you compare him to Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes is definitely better, but their deep accuracy is kind of similar. He's throwing the pressure a little low, throwing on the runs low, but he's good play action, decent speed, decent mobility, good throw power, decent short accuracy, and better medium accuracy. So would I use my quarterback? No. Does he have useful stats? He certainly does. Okay, next on the list, we got Jaguars team diamond, John Henderson. Defensive tackle, but I really do like defensive tackles this year because his stats are kind of amazing. There's a lot of good defensive tackles with good stats. He has high, high block shed, really high strength, high tackle, high play rec, high power move. As a whole, any six foot seven monster. So as a whole, I wouldn't mind having him on my team. Next, who do we got? We got Rob Ninkovich. So let's go over to Patriots. I'm never really a fan of Rob Ninkovich, but his stats are pretty good. He's got 75 speed, 84 block shed, 87 power move, 89 play rec, 88 tackle, 80 excel, 86 strength. He's kind of like a do-it-all kind of left end. Pass rushing, run stuffing. As a whole, I really like him. Next case. Now, these are where the linemen start coming. A lot of linemen. Brian Waiters or Waters, however you say his name. I'm probably going to be getting this card on my team. You compare him to Andrew Norwell. He's got 88 strength, 86 pass blocking, 86 pass blocking footwork, 89 run blocking, um, 88 run blocking again. I don't know what the specifications are for those. And 87 run blocking footwork. So he's the best run blocking left guard in the game probably. Or at least close to it. If he gets lower in price, he might actually, whoever's cheaper, him or Bruce Matthews is going to be the best left guard in the game. Whoever's cheaper, in my opinion. All right, so next, this is the Cowboys. At first, I was kind of off on his stats, but I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling them now. Mel Renfro, 6 feet tall, 86 speed. So, if you compare him to Rams, it's a little more fair. He's faster than the Rams. He better excel, better agility, better jumping, better play rec. Similar man, same zone. The press is what kills him. If he had, if he had an 88 press... Or well, at least close to it, I promise you. He's probably my number one player on this, on this list. But he does not. But he still usually beats. I think he has good hip power too. He's catching 73. That's good. Let's see what his hip power is. Oh, this is low. His hip power is a 71. That's not bad for a cornerback. That's what makes Ramsey so good. He's very physical. So now we go over to the Panthers uh, theme diamond. I'm kind of, I really like this one, especially with what the cards are in the game right now. Jordan Gross, left tackle. He's got insane pass blocking, really good run blocking, good strength, good awareness. Six foot four. Can't do much better than this. I love tackle right now. I currently have Joe Staley. Blows away Joe Staley. You guys need a left tackle. Definitely worth it. Next on the list. Who do we got? We got. Let's come on over to teams. Mudhead, don't fail me now. Mudhead's doing it. Here next, we got Adam Timmerman, right guard. Again, like I said, I'm putting a lot of linemen up high. If you compare him to Larry Allen, blows away Larry Allen for the most part. Beats him in most important stats. Run blocking is a little bit on the closest side. I mean, they're pretty close. I wouldn't say blow away, but again, whoever's cheaper, probably the one you guys want to want to have. Next, I don't know how long this video is dragged. I can't even see it, but imagine it's getting long. So let's speed this up a little bit. Chris McAllister, Ravens. See, at first, I like again another guy that I was looking at. I was like, yeah, hey, he's okay. But then looking closer, you compare him to Ramsey. He's pretty much Ramsey. Similar man. Zone's a little bit lower, similar press, better excel, better agility, better play rec, and he's the same height, and he has 84 speed. If you could power this guy up, which I don't know if you can, it's pretty much Ramsey, which slightly lower man, but he has better play wrecking, he has better agility, and better excel, so kind of like a Ramsey type card, and everyone always loves a Ramsey, so I figured he'd be good throwing on there. Now, my number one overall guy on the list, probably going to be 
shouldn't say probably, I should say he is because he's my final guy. Vikings, Matt Burke. Now you guys may be thinking, why are you putting the center first, right? Let's compare him to Jason Kelsey. Close to it in run blocking, but he's the best, best pass blocking center. So most centers right now, first off, the, there's no good centers in the game right now. There's no insane centers. The best centers either have good run blocking or good pass blocking. Right now, none of them have really both, like consistently good both. Matt Burke is an insane, the best pass blocking center probably, and he's also one of the best run blocking. So he could do both. He's a st- steady force up the middle. I need a center right now. With how the way we give this game plays this year with line, it's definitely important to have a good line, have that going. So, it's up, if it was up to me, guys, I'd recommend getting your lineup. It's definitely important with the way this game plays. But guys, this video is dragged on long enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the ranking video. If you got, I hope this helped you pick up who you want, who you should be doing. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, go smash the sub button. Go down below, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Comment down below who your favorite theme diamonds are and who you're probably going to get. And let's get this video to 250 likes. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.